Liberal Dan Radio presents Fat Man Rants. The state of Missouri sued the Biden administration again for his student loan plan, the SAVE plan. This time, uh, it two parts of it. Uh, he planned if you had undergraduate loans, it was going to reduce the amount that you would have to pay of your uh, your adjusted income or your your, your spendable income from ten percent to five percent. And it was going to treat new loans as only having to do uh, 10 years worth of payments instead of the 20 or 25. And of course, Missouri, or Missouri, depending, I guess, where you are in the state, is bringing a lawsuit again. If, if you remember the last time we discussed student loans and the courts and the Supreme Court, the only way that any of the people, litigants who brought the suits got any sort of standing is because of Missouri. And why? Because Missouri has Mohila. Mohila is sort of a quasi non-governmental, whatever, corporation that was created to handle the processing of student loans. And they handled, so, so it, even though the student loans are held by the federal government, Mohila is one of the ones that services those loans, and I am a person who is serviced by Mohila with my student loans. Now, Mohila didn't actually take part in the lawsuit that we previously discussed that threw away the ability of the Biden administration to waive ten or $20,000 of student debt, depending on whether or not you had a Pell Grant or not as well. And the court, in their insanity said that because Mohila is this quasi sort of state-ish thing, even though if Mohila wants to bring suits, it has the authority to do so and bring suits. And many times when the state wants to be like, hey, Mohila's not us, the state will be like, hey, Mohila's not us. But in this particular case, in the previous case, lawsuit, Missouri got standing because of Mohila. And why did they get standing because of Mohila? This was the subject of a previous fat man rant. Their argument was that if, by, if the Biden administration were able to cancel student loans, and those student loans canceled were Mohila service loans, if those loans go away, it means Mohila takes in less money. So therefore, they are injured. They're injured because they can't get more of your money more of your federal tax dollars. They want, these student loan processors were doing things like pushing people into forbearance when they didn't need to be pushed into forbearance and other sort of shenanigans that cause people to be in their loans longer, cause their interest rates to go up. That's one of the reasons that the Biden administration had to do whatever it is that they need to do to try and help people deal with the student loan debt. It's why they're still going through and making the one-time adjustments to people's student loans, taking all that time in administrative forbearance, in COVID forbearance, taking all that time that was spent in forbearance where the interest rates were going, interest was going up, and basically saying, hey, we're going to count that as time spent in repayment. That's the adjustment that they're doing because of the shenanigans that these services are done. So that's how Missouri got the claim, though, that, that they had standing. It's because they were able to say and prove to this activist conservative Supreme Court that if those loans get canceled early, Mohila takes in less funds. They're grifters. The state of Missouri is a bunch of grifters. And so now who is trying to block Biden from doing these actions and making student loan payments more affordable and doing these uh, cancellations of debt when they meet the terms of the cancellation? It was Kansas and Missouri. And I guarantee to you, if Missouri's found to have standing again, it's going to be because of Mohila and because we don't want to lose these loans because if we lose these loans, we can't take in more federal tax dollars to Mohila. Shut up. You don't have the right to the tax dollars. 
you don't have the right to service the loans. If the federal government holds the loans and they want to cancel the loans, good, let them cancel loans. You're just the servicer. You should feel lucky that they chose your company, your quasi-governmental company to service the loan so you could take in money to pay for whatever it is that you're using it to pay for. I think it's some Missouri University crap or whatever. Doesn't matter what it's for. In fact, the problem is the fact that they're trying to be grifters off of our tax dollars. And no conservatives are going to complain about this because hypocrisy is a conservative prerequisite. They're not going to care that the reason that Missouri is, you know, getting standing here is because they want to grift off of your tax dollars. They want to keep servicing these loans for longer so they can make more money for servicing these loans from the federal government. No conservative is going to care because all they care about is, oh, they're just sticking it to Biden. Or at least no conservative politician, I should say. Maybe there'll be some conservatives who have, you know, integrity who will be like, you know what, this is wrong too. And to them, I say kudos. And you should stand up and kick out the other people who are being hypocrites. Because when it comes to being a conservative politician, hypocrisy is a conservative prerequisite. So what do you think? Do you think it's BS that Missouri is again bringing a lawsuit and is get, again probably going to get standing because of their quasi-governmental Mohila Student Loan Servicing Group? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe and keep your eye out for more Batman rants.